Today on the channel, we bring the hordes of chaos like a young creator with the Masterverse New Eternia Horde Trooper. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Masterverse New Eternia unboxing and review and today the Mattel Creations exclusive Horde Trooper but for all your Horde Trooper needs Mattel Creations for now at least but for everything else under the sun hit up jaystoysandgames.com use discount code Kyle save yourself 15% 15% Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this Horde Trooper, an army builder, as we do know. And we have a Horde Prime Trooper to unbox here on the channel as well. So stay tuned or subscribe for that one coming soon. Uh, but we've had Horde Troopers in the past. We'll compare some later on in this video as well. But this is one we first saw at San Diego Comic-Con 2024. A deluxe upsized figure. Uh, very, very cool. But it is an army builder. But with a little bit of a twist. As we do get some extra heads with this one. Of course, being new attorney, a new little twist on this one as well. Well, but let's dive into it. Let's take a look at the packaging here. Of course, plastic free, but pretty cool artwork right there. Look at that. And then you got all the Horde Troopers down here facing off against the Eternian Guards. Wouldn't be shocked to see a Mattel Creations Eternia Guards, uh, something like this. I'm sure we'll see that, a little army builder action. Sure, we'll see that next year. Now, we do get a little bit of wraparound on the package, a little bit of that battle scene. Mattel Creations up there at the top, looking very good. Masterverse over here as well. UPCs, Jibber Jabber on the bottom. And then you got that kind of like vampire goblin guy. So the Horde Trooper, not a mechanical robot. There's somebody inside this suit. I imagine it being just some really little guy. Just some little guy in there. And he's just uh, steering the chute. It's like a big mech suit for him or something. Six and up is what I would tell Mark Summers if he was here on the couch today. He is not. On the side, we got Horde Trooper. We get a little bit of a blurb. Let's see what it says here. The evil enforcer of Hordak. The evil Horde Empire spreads across the decimated remains of New Eternia like a virus. Hordak commands his legions of Horde Troopers to attack and take all, all as prisoners, each destined for the Fright Zone. These pitiable souls are then mind-wiped, brainwashed, and retained as Horde Troopers, perpetuating the cycle until Hordak rules the entire planet. So almost like a, a zombie team is kind of what he's taking right there. And oh my gosh, look at the packaging on this one. If I can get this out, we get a little diorama kind of background here. There is the Doom Tower. Of course, that went up for order for Origins. Not order, I guess, a vote, and it did not win, as we know. And then over here, you get some of that artwork from the package, the whole thing looking very cool. If that is something you're wanting. Now, I guess I should put that in there. We can see the box both sides right here. Horde Trooper looking good. Now, we do get a little box down here full of accessories. Then we get the whole box, so nice little keepsake like shoe box going on here. I'm not against that at all. I'm gonna stick that over to the side, a gentle off to the side. See you later. Little plastic prison going on, or I guess cardboard prison, really. And we got the rope ties straight out of the jungle. We got all these rope ties holding him down, so we're gonna cut these. Get after this guy here, and boy, they're really holding him down here. They don't want him going anywhere. I get it. Those horde troopers are a dangerous bunch, as we do know. So you got to keep them under wraps as much as you can. I don't know how I feel about these rope twist ties. I guess they probably disintegrate better than the plastic ones. Maybe that's the reasoning. I would ask Todd McFarlane. He'd be the expert because he's the expert on everything, as we do know. Uh, but he's not here to ask the questions to. The hard-hitting questions about the ties. Uh, once again, we're going to stick all this here. Are we there? Are we there yet? We're getting close. Oh, my gosh. One more up top, I guess. There we go. All right. Twist ties everywhere. We're going to try not to make too big of a mess here, of course. Clean some of this up. We got some of them stuck in the joints, as usually happens with some of these rope ties. But we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Scissors off to the side. Let's dive in. Let's dive into this Trooper of the Horde, of course. Big old weapons. What do we got in here? Maybe some extra hands. Maybe nothing. Well, this looks like it's going to be something part of the body here. A little box going on. See you later. Goodbye. A little parchment paper prison. All right, we're here for that. See you later. Goodbye. And I guess this is, 
Oh, backpack, little plug-in backpack. You just plug it in there and it must hold, yep, holds this staff here. So you can store everything on the character. You know I'm here for that. So you got the big staff here in red. You plug this into the backpack, you can store this here. That's on brand, looking very, very nice. And of course, his main weapon here is going to be this big old sword. You got the horde symbol down here, horde axe face, black handle, silver at the end, and then a big silver blade here. Ready to whack heads off if he needs to. Ready to go. And that's it for the accessories, but we do got a big figure here. And boy, oh boy, is this a light figure. I would imagine this guy, especially seeing him in the case at San Diego Comic-Con, I thought he was going to be chunkier and heavier. Almost like a Hulk buster is what I was kind of imagining. That is definitely not the case with him right here. He is very, very light plastic on here. So that is a little bit strange. It doesn't feel premium. It was a $33 price point on these. It feels more like one of those child uh, dumbed down toys as far as plastic and weight goes. Your mileage may vary on your opinion there, but that is definitely my opinion. Now, diving into the head, you got the standard Horde Trooper helmet. You always think it's just the head and stuff, and I like the little light shines through and the yellow in the eyes looks good. But you do got that goblin head underneath. It'd be interesting if somebody opens this, forgets about this, doesn't realize it's here till a long time later. That could happen to somebody. But a very Nosferatu-looking uh, head under here. It's just like a vampire teeth. Like I said, Nosferatu. Even the ears, kind of those big goblin elf ears. He's got one ear that's been kind of torn up. That is cool attention to detail. Makes him feel a little bit different that way. Very cool translucent red plastic inside there. Uh, holding on very giving it its robotic guts kind of feel but i do like that removable head and this is new attorney creating different kind of world character building things like that it's a new twist on an old favorite here with this horde trooper but besides that feels like a horde trooper i should say looks like a horde trooper somebody hands you this you know he man you know who this is it's a horde trooper here got the big logo in the chest looking good big old shoulder guards as well no action here where you hit the stomach on the Origins one or the chest, it opens up. You don't have that going on here. You do got the big robotic body, though. Looks like a huge mech suit is what it is. Got a little loincloth down there in the front, a little dial right there maybe on the front as well. Some robot pieces in between, of course. Some black on the arms, big forearm guards, big chest, big boots going on down here in black. Got the big hands in black once again. Two gripping hands, no extra hands with this guy at all. Joints are extremely soft, extremely smooth, which we always do like that. Arms do go around, but you have to kind of move your arms around these big shoulder guards. But this guy isn't going to be a gymnast. He's going to be a big, heavy bruiser is what he is. Uh, and that's what he feels like. You do get a bicep cut with him. Single jointed elbow, a little side to side at the elbow as well if you want to. Hands back and forth, side to side, of course. Waist articulation, a lot of movement out of that dumbbell joint in the waist. I do like that. Big old robot splits, kind of. You get a little bit of work going on right there. Leg does go up. Double jointed pinless knees, you know I'm here for that. Ankles back and forth, side to side. Big old feet on this guy. He does got holes on his feet. I'm sure he fits a Mattel ringside collectible stand, but there's no reason to use it for him. He does fit the stand. Use Kyle for 10% off at ringside, of course. But he's a big bruiser. He does not need a, a feet like that. He does have drop-down hips in the articulation here, so there's a little extra articulation there in the hip joints. But man, a big, big bruiser here. And I did pick up three of these. So my plan is to have two displayed this way, one displayed with the goblin guy with the helmet off. That is my plan to display these that way. And then, of course, have Hordak leading the charge. And I guess I could grab Hordak. Just uh, which Hordak do you like? The newest rendition of Hordak? Or probably most people like the classic rendition of Hordak. But boy, you can see that size difference between these two. This is a big bruiser of a figure. And I'm here for it. I like this one. I wish it was a little cheaper than $33. But I guess it's an online exclusive. That's the way it goes. But I think a $30 price point feels a little bit better. We're talking a game of dollars here. But every dollar counts in the collector's game as we know. I wish it felt a little bit thicker. A little bit chunkier, sturdier, heavier. Uh, that's really my only gripe with this figure, though. The articulation smooth. I like the accessories. I like what it has. Uh, but I would have liked to seen a little bit more girth or a little bit more weight with this guy at the end of the day. But, of course, I'm just a classics guy in more ways than one. Here is the classics version of the Horde Trooper. So you can see that size difference. Pretty big difference between those two, of course. And then you got the Origins classic style right there. So even bigger size difference. So very, very big. But then we got to remember this is New Eternia. That's what it's based on, the New Eternia figures. And that's exactly what we got right here. So a fun one for what it is. Not going to be for everybody. That's probably why it's a Mattel Creations exclusive. Not sure if he still remains. 
check it out yourself. Uh, you might be at lucky. If not, probably going to have to go to the Ebays of the world here. But there it is. The Horde Trooper from New Eternia and the Masterverse. What are your guys' thoughts? This one a pickup for you? A pass? A long game? Not so sure game? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. we got even more content for you over there on Patreon. Patreon, once again, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also hit me up over there at SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Threads, and on Instagram. So for the Masterverse, New Eternia Horde Trooper, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.